Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Platinum Resident Evil 8, Village. Alright, let's put Rose down finally. Put Rose to bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Okay. Here we go. Let's head down, I'm sure nothing is going to happen. Man, Ethan, you are sprinting, my friend. And if we go this way, it's actually a little bit quicker. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? All right, what an opening. Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Okay, so things are not going well for Ethan. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now, think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package 
body. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Okay, so we were at home, and then uh, Ethan had just explained how Chris moved uh, Mia and himself and Rose to um, somewhere in Europe, and then he came in and killed Mia, and then we were taken away, and now the van that we were taken away is turned over, and there's a dead soldier, and we don't know what we're doing, so let's have a look. Okay, phone is useless. Mission objectives. You eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Hmm, I only see one. Can we hop in here? We can crawl in here. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that was file number five. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. So let's go over here. Is the other transport officer around here? Can't see in. Oh, what does it say? 7JRXXXVY4. Hmm. I don't know if that means anything. Like uh, an Easter egg, not really a. Um, uh, yeah, not something related to the story. Hmm, where's the other officer? Okay, well, we can't really go anywhere else, so let's move on. Got Ethan's shadow here. Huh. Huh. And yeah, he's got a really lumbering pace. I mean, fair enough, he was just in like a gigantic accident. And he's climbing a hill, so <laughs> can't really blame him. Alright, let's climb up this hill. Once we get up here, we should be able to move more normally. And there we go. Okay, now we're moving more normally. Let's head down here through this thicket. I don't know what part of Europe we're in. Alright, if we crouch down, similar to how the first game was, or oh, Resident Evil 7, I should say, we have to crawl under something as well. Alright, he just hurt his left hand. Just it's just a it's just a scratch. <laughs> All right, gonna be a few jump scares here. So be aware. All right, dead ravens or crows being hung. I'm trying to actually avoid all of them. <laughs> ah, that one was alive. <laughs> All right, let's hop down here. Now, if you focus on the right side of the screen, I don't know if it's now, but... Here we go, here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. I think it's here. No? There we go. What was that? <laughs> Some dude just ran out from the side and... ran over in this direction, and now I can't see him. This part here is really Silent Hill, I feel like. Dead fish. Dead fish. Speaking of Silent Hill, get on that Konami and Hideo Kojima. So much teasing. Okay, we have run into a dead end. But there is a door here, so let us enter. Okay, what's in this house? Can I close the door? No, I cannot. Okay, there's a drawer, here, drawer in here. What is this thing supposed to be? It's a rope, you see a brush, a book, a few pages, and then whatever that thing is connected to the rope. I don't know. Could be a weapon. I don't know. No, I just realized it's kind of a reference to Resident Evil 3 remake where you turn off the, uh, the tap in... Um, Jill's apartment. Didn't notice that the first time I was playing. A bunch of medication. Looks like they took the exact same asset that uh, ooh, 
that was scary. The exact same asset that um, Mia had. Oh, that we had in, in at Ethan's place. Let's do a nice spin. There's a woman using what appears to be some kind of loom. This is also very Resident Evil 7, climbing down the stairs when you end up facing Mia for the first time. Near the start, near the start. This looks like the that other part as well. I can't remember how to explain it. It's in like the garage area. What's this? Okay, you got a framed photo. I don't even know really what I'm looking It looks like a person and then there's like a half circle kind of decoration or something. Adornment. Okay, that didn't need to happen. <laughs> Uh, let's keep going over here. Alright, this is coming to a dead end. Oh good, a dead end with a cupboard. I'm sure nothing horrible will be inside. Okay, just a rat. Let's do a spin. <laughs> when I first played I was like, surely there's something behind me. Okay, time to go. I'm scared. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, wait, I think I missed something. Uh, there is... Hang on a sec. Where is it? I definitely remember there being... Ah, there it is. I missed this. Can you actually see what that is? I can't really... Yeah, I can't examine it, but yeah, it's there. That symbol will, uh, it'll mean something later on. For now, let's see if we can get out of here. Climb, climb, climb. Oh gosh, how am I gonna... Alright, get on your hands and knees, Ethan. You. Did all this. Okay, yeah, so we just came from here and it was all fine and now... Actually, we came from there. It's also become a lot brighter. This is probably the point I should point out that um, uh, all the events of this game take place over the course of a single day. So, and this is probably the largest advancement in time for the smallest amount of gameplay across the whole thing. Alright, we'll climb over that fence and then we'll go over here. We can do a little sprint. You know, we just had a car accident, but we can run no problem without ever running out of uh, stamina. <laughs> Alright, and now the big grand opening. Where the hell am I? Beautiful castle. Holy crap. Castles are so cool. Gotta admit, castles are really cool. There's a windmill over there. You can just barely see the village. Sun is peeking up over the mountains. There's sort of another part of the castle. All right, let's hop over, hop down here. And slide. Expensive jeans getting all ruined. <laughs> Oh man, look at the size of this horse, man. Girl, like, as the kids would say, it's thick. T H I double C. <laughs> Seriously, that's one big horse. All right, well, let's examine this. What do we got in here? Maybe, maybe they're out. Okay, and easy to pick lock. Well, we don't have a lock pick. There's more chorba de lagoon. You notice it's actually steaming, which. Uh, Kind of gives a little bit more insight into what um, Ethan just said about maybe they're, maybe they're out. Hey, there's that picture again. Don't remember seeing that red dot on the top there before there. Everything's been like torn to shreds. Piece of the wall missing. It's got it's brick as well. It's not just, not just wall. 
well, I guess most walls are probably made out of brick. <laughs> uh, okay, sort of like a barnyard area. Oh, I think I saw him through there, but pretty sure we're going to be just fine. Let's close that for a second. Hmm. Can we open this? We can open this. Alright, the, these are outhouses and they are related to a trophy. There are 10 outhouses in the game and we need to open all of them. Um, so let's do that. Okay, we don't have the item that we need to get uh, whatever item is in here at the moment. We will have to come back for that later. And in this barn, there's nothing down below. There is this birdcage up here, but we don't have any means of accessing it at this point. So we can't. You'll notice that there are at least two ravens directly in front of me. Uh, if we had a weapon, we could shoot them and they would give us a decent amount of money. Uh, we don't have a weapon. Um, and when you, if you do not scare them away, which I'm going to do, um, let me just see something. Okay, I'm gonna scare them away by getting close. Wow, that was, okay, there was like five of them. <laughs> uh, if you do not scare them away, um, even when you come back later with a weapon, um, they will not be there, which is really annoying. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, just do a bit more exploring. I've also, uh, haven't, well, we haven't got there yet, but I've also done my absolute best to make sure that I've, I'm gonna get every single item in this game. So if you find one that I do not have, uh, post in the comments because I would really like to see if I missed one. I'm pretty confident I got absolutely everything So uh, that would be cool. This is the second outhouse, but for some odd reason you are not allowed to open it at this stage of the game uh, We will come back there later And it doesn't actually make sense as to why you're not able to open it because there's nothing special like I think there's an item But it's nothing nothing special. There's that symbol again Almost looks like a pentagram. I mean a pentagram I think has to have five sides, but I don't know what you would call this the seal of Orichalcos. <laughs> I actually made both both jokes. I'm playing Dungaromper 2 at the same time as as doing this game, and, and I made the exact same joke in Dungaromper 2. What the hell is this doing here? Hey, that's what I said. What is this doing here? Hmm. Rose's little toy. It's very weird. Why would that be there? Alright, let's go around this side. So I'll just quickly show you where we are. We're gonna go down here. But if we run up here, this is where we came from. So I went into the house over there and into the barn. That's where we came from. The horse is now gone. The horse is Disappeario. That is, I actually didn't know about that. <laughs> that was an event that I thought happened a little later, but I guess it happens a lot earlier than I thought. Ah, oh, that's a little underwhelming. I actually never noticed this either. They put like the barest of bare bones stuff here. Like you can see, look how much white there is for snow. And then you look at this direction, it's like, oh, okay, here's the game. <laughs> don't, don't look over there. That's just, that's just background assets. We couldn't put much there because we have to load the rest of the game. Okay, so we're going down Goathead Lane. Nothing over here in this well, well, well. What happened? I agree. Like, think about the things that need to happen for this to... So they need to kill goats, remove their heads, and then tie the strings up. There's a lot of... A lot of stuff that needs to happen there. Graveyard, workshop, and ceremony site. Ceremony site. That's always a, uh... Little... Disconcerting to... To read. <laughs> hey, Bob, you wanna head down to the ceremony site? <laughs> sure. All right, let's go over here. Uh, let's go to the left first. Well, we can't... Oh yeah, I didn't actually push on the other one, but there was a big lock on it we couldn't get through. Locked due to missing homeowner. He's not here, just close it. Save his stuff. Okay. Is this an outhouse? It is an outhouse. Is there anything in here? No. All right, so I believe that's outhouse number two. I actually didn't realize... Let me just scroll down real quick on my guide. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even write that one down. That's funny. That's okay. You can get you can get that uh, later. It you end up coming here quite a lot, so don't worry about it too much. We're gonna end in a second here. All right, it's locked. Hey, there's some chickens. All right, we can't get through there. However, 
this doorway is open. Alright, we will find out what's over there next time. You can kind of see it. <laughs> uh, for now, though, I want to thank you all for watching episode 2 of Let's Platinum Resident Evil 8 Village. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.